Hey folks, uh, here, here's the 2000, this bat here, this orange one. This is the 2016 Axe Avenge bat. Um, Axe, as you may know, Axe has these uh, unique candles um, that uh, are just these asymmetric candles, which I'm sure you've probably seen before. If not, well, th this is it. The idea being, um, as you hold the bat, you can actually swing and get uh, quicker hands to the ball, which ultimately creates some better bat speed as well as getting the bat to the zone faster. Um, we write a lot about it on the blog, so of course you can check it out there. And, and Axe has a handful of videos and sort of some vendor sites um, that kind of talk about it. Here's sort of our collection of Axe bats. This is the Victus bat that Dustin Pedroia uh, swung this year until he got hurt. Um, but, you know, same idea. They can make the same thing out of wood. Here's one of our favorite fungo bats, this maple fungo bat um, in Axe. Um, you know, here's, here's one of the softball bats. This is last year's version. And just to kind of compare the, the Axe Avenge 2016, Last year's didn't have, see how there's the different color right in here? Um, this year has this new, uh, this plastic piece, which actually a gridded out, a, gr a, a grid inside of here, which actually creates uh, or takes away some of the hand sting. This is the 2016 element, so, so Axe element. So both of these bats have it. Notice that the old version or 2015 versions actually don't have this. Um, this is actually the softball bat, but but it doesn't matter. It's, ultimately, that handle's different. So if you're looking at the differences between 2015 and 16, um, this is one of the main differences is that you have, we have this sort of endo grid is what they refer to it as, um, which is sort of a plasticky kind of feel if you could actually get it. I don't know if I can get it into focus here, but... Um, but yeah, uh, and you know we, we've hit with this bat for for a couple of hours now, and had several people hit with it. And yeah, it, it definitely is different. You can definitely feel, or at least on miss hits, there's not that sort of ringing hand sort of feel. Um, the element, or excuse me, the, the Avenge is a two piece bat, so it's a two piece composite. So it probably already took a lot of that sting out of it. Um, I think in like a one piece uh, element, this is just a one piece bat, although it has this carbon composite end cap on there, but. Um, this one piece bat has uh, probably a little more value in the one piece bat, I would guess, simply because one pieces tend to wring your hands a little more than two piece. But this, but this uh, Avenge bat, this is their high performance bat. It comes in a BB core, it comes in a youth, uh, so a two and a quarter barrel, and then a two and a five eighths, uh, so a senior barrel or big barrel uh, drop eight and a half. The youth barrel version is a drop eleven. The BB core, of course, being a drop uh, a drop three. The other thing that's unique about this bat is because you have uh, a, a, an asymmetric handle, you're required to hit the bat on the same side, right? Which in, the, in, in this regard, because your handle's here, um, would be here. And so they, they actually have this ability on this bat to control the side that the ball's going to hit. As a result, you can actually create a different type of barrel or a stronger barrel on this side of the bat versus on this side of the bat, right? So you have, you know your hitting zone, as they like to say. So they have uh, in this bat, um, they have a directional uh, centerpiece, um, which is like a ring that's actually forced towards the hitting side of the barrel. Um, and because of that, you can actually create some more consistency. You can create a bigger barrel, all those kinds of fun things. Because you have this asymmetric handle, you sort of get a lot of liberty in the, in the manufacturing of the bat, which is sort of a fun idea to think about. Um, in the end, it, it really is a two-piece composite bat. That's it's a performance bat. So if you can compare this against other two-piece composites on the high-end range, right? So the CFA, the the Easton Mako, maybe Adidas's new bat. There's there's obviously a handful of others out there um, in the two-piece space. It's legit. It has a nice big barrel. Um, it's got uh, you know good uh, good good balance swing weight. This Axe uh, Avenge is the lightest swinging bat in the Axe lineup. Um, and you usually get that with a two-piece composite. And generally, you know, you can kind of hear it's it's more of a plastic sound um, versus maybe a metal sound. You can hear that ting versus more of a. Yeah, again, that's that's because this is a, a a plastic basically or a composite, um, whereas that's actually an aluminum, right? And then you got you know that's wood, right? That's composite, and that's aluminum. So all that different sound when you hit. Uh, when it comes to performance in the BB core space, very similar, uh, simply because that's what BB cores, uh, BB core does, right? It forces performance to be a certain certain degree. So, uh, so yeah, that's me kind of rambling about the uh, Axe, the 2016 Axe Avenge, which is a two-piece composite with this new endo grip, one-sided hitting. It's got, um, you know, the endo grip, one-sided hitting. 
uh, that ring inside of there. Um, well, in fact, they say it right there, just upside down for you, but uh, the ACR insert is what they call it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the 2016. That's their, uh, that's their flagship baseball bat.